Okay, so there's some basic reactions we didn't need to know for triacyl glycerols. Now, once it's formed, we can break it back down into uh, glycerol and fatty acids. So the water is added, a hydrogen, an oxygen, or hydrogen and OH group are introduced. One goes, uh, what I got the hydrogen here, and then an OH goes onto the carbon, and does it for each of these. And it's just uh, what we've we've seen before, where we break up the uh, an ester back into an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. The problem is that there's three of them in a row, so we have to just be careful. So we get glycerol back into its form. And, and for this, for my exams, I'd want you to show the full reaction, just so we, I can see that you know where what happened, because you could certainly draw the box here of glycerol, but I want to see the whole reaction. And then we get our... Uh, the rest of it's easy, and uh, all you have to do is just make sure that you draw the right fatty acid here. I don't know if I made them all. No, they're different. So one, two, and then this last one. And you're free to draw it this way, where you just put them all together. It really should be one plus this one plus this one all the way down, but you can just leave them like that. And... Uh, and that's it. The water has been added. These hydrogens have been added from the water. These OH groups from the water, or vice versa, hydrogens and OH groups. And uh, you've cr uh, created your fatty acids and your glycerol. So it's, it's almost, I mean, you can just draw a line straight down here and pull it apart. Just remember, this is what you're always trying to get to for the glycerol, and then you're always trying to create the fatty acids on this side. So nothing too bad. Now, um, when we have, for a sponification, we do the same thing. We take a fat or an oil, add three waters, create the fatty acids. But then remember, we could take the fatty acids and we could react them with sodium hydroxide to produce fatty acid salts and then water. So, let me get another pen. This thing is just working better. Okay. So, what we have to do here. It's two steps. We create the fatty acids and the glycerol. Now, I'm not going to ask you to do that. You can just go straight to the fatty acid salts. So what you do is we're going to break this right down here. We'll have our glycerol. Show it on here. Okay. Now, um, and then we could have our fatty acids, but we know that they react with the sodium hydroxide, so we get sodium ion, sodium ion, sodium ion, O minus, O minus, O minus, and then we draw the rest of the, whoops, the carboxylate ion, or carboxylic acid salt, and if I'm missing a kink here, uh, be uh, be forgiving. I will be on the exam as long as you have. I mean, can't be missing the double bond, but if it's one over, that's fine. At the end of the world, and then we have three uh, three waters that we have back. Let me make sure here. This put that in there. Yeah, the three waters. So. The reason I put the waters up here is to indicate this would be the first step of breaking it apart, but I'm not going to do that full step, and then you add the sodium hydroxide, so really the waters weren't necessary in this case. Uh, but I might have you on the exam break it down into the fatty acids first, and then do a, a next reaction with the sodium hydroxide, so either way is fine. Okay, and then complete the hydrogenation reaction. Uh, uh, hydrogenation reaction. Now this is should be one of the easiest problems uh, in the exam, but it always throws students. Now remember when we have a double bond in a hydrogen molecule, we, we add across that double bond, eliminating it. So we have two hydrogens here, two hydrogen molecules, so we can only remove two of these. If we had four hydrogen molecules, we could turn all of these into, uh, into single bonds adding across that double bond. So uh, on the exam, if I do that, you just got to be careful. Did, did I give you four? Did, did, I, did I give you three, two, one? Just make sure that you... All I, all I want to do in that case is, sh to, uh, is show you 
or make sure that you are aware of what you're doing. If you, uh, if you add across all of the double bonds, then that tells me you don't realize, uh, or maybe you don't realize that uh, each of these hydrogens can only take care of one double bond. So let me see, one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm gonna do is just keep this double bond. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to keep this second one intact. And you say, well, which one will go? Eh, that's up to you. Uh, depends on, I don't think that there's any real factor here that would decide which one would go. But if you only have two hydrogens, molecules per molecule, uh, TAG, then, then you'll have to decide which one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'll leave that to you. Uh, if you're, you, know, you really need to know, then take them from the top. Take these two. That's fine. <laughs> if I give you a four, though, then you you get rid of all the double bonds. And then this one is probably the one that gets the students the most. We have oxidation. We're going to assume a complete oxidation here. And what happens is any double bond that you have gets cleaved. And it's first turned into a uh, see if you have it turned into a aldehyde group, and then further oxidation turns it into a carboxylic acid. Uh, so what we're going to assume is that every double bond, you just add an oxygen to each side, and then an OH group as well. So uh, for this one, let's let's just do this out. We'll have the framework or the main the main molecule, I should say. I'm not on here, it will be. So nothing happens to this end. And we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now when we get here, that double bond gets cleaved and it's an oxygen is added to it, and then an OH group to make that end a carboxylic acid. Now this end also becomes a carboxylic acid, so just leave it pretty much as is. Finish it off as a carboxylic acid. There. And then this one, this middle one is unaffected. There's no double bond to oxidize or to be uh, affected by the oxidation. Here, boom, boom, draw the double bond. Now, that's that could be where it stops. That's the aldehyde, but we're assuming that we, we just go for broke all the way through. We have a very strong oxidizer. So each end gets turned into a carboxylic acid. Oops. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that end gets turned into a uh, carboxylic acid group as well. This is a carboxyl group as well. And there you go. So any double bond gets cleaved, an oxygen gets added to those uh, that half of a bond, I mean by drawing it, that's not how it works in the, uh, the microscope at the uh, molecular level, but just picture that the bond gets broken, the lines get broken in half, and oxygen is added to each bond, uh, each half of that bond, so you have a new double bond to the oxygen, and add OH group to that same carbon to create the uh, our carboxyl group. and. Uh, you do that if you have two double bonds here, then each side gets, so now you have this thing, a dicarboxylic acid, and that is the deal.